It's time to become a part of Team Connor. We'll have the details ahead. Also on the broadcast, we'll have baseball results and our Athlete of the Week. All this and more coming up on KFOI Daily News. Fort Osage High School. I'm Amate Butte. And I'm Morgan Parsons. Today is Thursday, April 24, 2014, and here are today's news and announcements. Junior Connor Deason's benefit dinner is coming up this Saturday, and you can help. Connor was critically injured in a car accident December 26, 2013, and is still rehabilitating. Drive down to St. Mary's High School Gym, located on 600 North Liberty in Independence, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. on April 26th, and enjoy some chili, hot dogs, drinks, and desserts. The cost is $10 for adults and $5 for children 12 and under. There will, be, there will also be a free 30-minute magic show and a silent auction and raffle. You can also get your Team Connor t-shirts for $10. Please see the main office or freshman office for ordering details. Shirts are $10 for sizes extra small through extra large and $12 for double extra large and up. The Student Council hosted its fourth annual Student Leadership Recognition Banquet last week in honor of National Student Leadership Week. They honored several students who demonstrated leadership in athletics, activities, and in the classroom. Students may now sign up for the summer reading program. The book for the program will be John Green's The Fault in Our Stars. The group will be reading during summer school and will include activities that can earn you prizes. Last year, one high school student won a $50 Visa gift card. Every student who signs up gets a free copy of the book. Visit tinyurl.com forward slash fo summer book 14 to sign up or contact Ms. Erickson and the library. You must sign up by May 2nd to participate. Ms. Farmer's English classes had some fun with poetry recently. Students had to design a poster based on a poem, and the class then critiqued and judged each other's work. Posters had to include the poem, the poet, one interesting fact, a summary of the poem, their favorite line, an imitation poem they wrote, and three images relating to the poem. Now here's today's sports report. The varsity baseball team extended its winning streak to three as they beat St. Pius 11-6. Hayden Baumgartner led the Indians with two hits and four RBIs, and Chad Sutton launched a three-run three run homer. Peyton Tolliver, Cal Peterson, and Nico Pike struck out a combined nine Pius batters. The Indians are now 9-6 and six on the season. The Frosch baseball team ended up dropping a 14-6 contest to Oak Grove Tuesday night. The Indians played the Panthers to, uh, to a 4-4 four to four tie after the regulation seven innings. The game went over five hours and ended in the 14th inning. Abraham Gonzalez, Keegan Lammering, and Riley Hill led the team with three hits each while Tanner Davis struck out nine Panther batters in five innings of work from the mound. Jeremiah Reynolds signed his letter of intent on Tuesday, April 22nd to run track for Graceland University. Jeremiah was surrounded by his parents and coaches as he signed to run for the Hornets. He shared with KFOI's Ryan Modrak on why he decided to run for Graceland. Probably my brother, he, he said that they had a recreation program up there and that's what I, pl I plan on majoring in. Congratulations to junior sprinter Dakota Baker on being named the Athlete of the Week for April 13th through the 19th. Dakota was nominated by head boys varsity coach Eric Holmes for his performance on the 4x4 100 relay team. His team finished first in the city championship and the Indian invite. Dakota also maintained a grade point average of 3.5. Congratulations, Dakota. Coming up on, the Indian, on today's Indian sports calendar, the Frosh baseball team finishes play in the Oak Grove Tournament at 3.30, and the JV baseball team concludes play in the Eastern Jackson County Tournament at 4.00. The varsity and JV tennis teams travel to Belton for matches starting at 4. All three girls soccer teams are in action at home today against Ruskin. The Frost team starts play at 4, the JV team begins at 5, and the varsity kickoff at 6.30.
Please listen for any game cancellations due to inclement weather over the school's public address system during passing periods. Come out and support your Indians. That's all we have for you today on KFOI Daily News. Thanks for watching and have a great day.